Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Starblast Auto Tracker mount. It's a small little portable, obviously, uh, tabletop tracking system designed to hold uh, small telescopes and spotting scopes, whatever you wanted, for uh, tracking in the night sky. Uh, it's fully motorized, so what that means is when you turn it on um, and do an initial setup, you point it to something uh, that you found in the sky and it will track that object th through the night sky. It doesn't have a database built in, at least out of the box. I'll get to what you can upgrade this to in a minute. But once you've found something and centered it, it will stay on target. So it's really handy for um, not constantly having to recenter the objects that you're viewing. Let's say you have a, a party with a bunch of friends over and they all want to look. Usually, if you have a non-tracking system, you've got to recenter it between each person or every other person maybe. This thing will keep on target no matter where you point. So let's say you're looking at Jupiter here, it'll stay on target, then you can unlock it, swivel it around to some object over here in the south, and it will also stay on target uh, since it's got little encoders built in and it knows what area of the sky that you're viewing and which direction things are going. Uh, like I said, it's designed to hold small telescopes. Uh, it can hold things up to about nine pounds, depending on the size of the telescope. Uh, obviously, this is a fairly small unit, so you're not going to put a really long refractor in it. It uses uh, the narrow dovetail uh, cradle here, which means uh, any of the Vixen-style uh, dovetail bars will attach in. I'd say you can attach uh, something up to maybe about a five-inch Cassegrain. Uh, any of those small Richfield refractors work well in this. There's a, a 7.2 inch clearance between the center of the dovetail cradle and the base. So just keep that in mind when you're calculating if your telescope will fit into the, into the unit. Um, and then there's locks on it, so you can unlock it here, swivel it around manually. It, it knows exactly where you're positioned, like I said, because it's got the encoders. So you can unlock it, move around to a new area, lock it back down, and then continue to, to move. So it does a lot more than just tracking things in the night sky. The buttons on the side allow you to do all sorts of things, including daytime uh, time lapses. You could also do that at night if you wanted to do like starscape time lapses. But that's one of my favorite features on here. You give it a starting position and then an ending position, which can be either straight left or right or at some angle up and down and left and right. Uh, that's the end position. You target those two spots and then you tell it how fast you want to move between those spots. Like let's say you want it to go start here and then over three hours move to this location over here. It'll subdivide it and move very, very slowly across that span. Um, all the while your camera is taking images every five or ten seconds. It's a, a great little time lapse system for daytime, uh, watching the clouds go by, uh, while also kind of moving your foreground subject. Or for astronomy, doing 30 second shots and just watching the, the sky move across the, 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 move across the sky while you're also like positioning some interesting objects in the foreground. So the time lapse uh, operation is really fantastic and a lot of fun. You can also set waypoints and have the mount move between those waypoints. So let's say you, you target some object off in the distance if you're doing this during daytime terrestrial viewing. The, that boat over there or that pier or whatever you're looking at, that's a waypoint. Then you can set a waypoint over here 20 degrees away, another one here, one up here, and then have it cycle between those. And then you can have the, the mount take pictures uh, as you go between those, those points. So there's all sorts of uh, interesting, th interesting things you can do with that. Waypoints, um, uh, the time lapse. The mount comes with a snap cable for select uh, Canon cameras. So while you're doing those waypoints or time lapse shots, uh, the mount can control the Canon camera and take pictures in between the waypoints. So this is really a, a, a very handy tool for all your photographic needs, not only for astronomy, but for some interesting uh, daytime uh, techniques as well. Now, if you're still with me this far, I want to tell you about the coolest feature that you can add on to this. Um, so remember, it's a motorized mount that doesn't have a database, but uh, will track any object that you find manually in center. You can upgrade this to a full go-to system. So on the side here, there's a little port. You can either plug in a SynScan hand controller from one of our... Um, like our Star Seeker mounts or the Atlas or any of the equatorial mounts, the, the hand controller will plug in here, turning it into a full go-to system. Or we've come out with the SynScan Wi-Fi adapter, which is a little, a little dongle that attaches in, creates its own little Wi-Fi hotspot, and you can connect your uh, smartphone or tablet to it, either Android or iOS, and fully control the mount make it go to with a full database of objects and just hit the object that you want to see in your, in your uh, phone, it'll send it right to it and continue to track it. So a really handy, inexpensive upgrade to make the auto tracker a full go-to system. 
So the uh, auto tractor comes with several accessories. You get a, uh, an L bracket, so you can attach on a DSLR camera to do those uh, time lapse or wide field shots. Uh, you get a smartphone adapter, so you can attach your, uh, your uh, camera from your phone and do the same kind of thing. There's the snap cable, I think I already mentioned. There's a compass here to help you level it. And then uh, one thing I didn't mention, inside the side panel here, you put eight AA batteries. That's how it's powered, eight AA batteries. And since it just tracks and follows things in the night sky, it actually is pretty energy efficient. So it'll go a long time on those set of uh, AA batteries, uh, eight of them, that's 12 volt. Um, if you didn't want to replace the batteries from time to time, on the side here is a 12 volt input. So you can plug in either an AC adapter, which we sell separately if you're uh, in the backyard and you've got access to an AC outlet, you can plug that in. Uh, maybe one of our Dynamo lithium batteries, uh, if you're out in the field and you're, you don't have access to AC power, it's 12 volts, so it'll plug directly into our uh, uh, Dynamo um, lithium battery. And then the last thing I wanted to mention, this is a tabletop mount. However, on the bottom, you have a, an adapter for a uh, photo tripod. So this is the 3 16 adapter for some of those uh, more robust, heavy-duty uh, tripods, usually without heads. Uh, so uh, pick up a, uh, a large format photo tripod with a 3 8 inch uh, stud on it, and you can attach this to it, and now you're, uh, you don't need to have a tabletop uh, with you. You can take it out camping or hiking, wherever you're going to go, if you don't have access to a table. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Starblast Auto Tracker mount. Uh, does a lot of things, can be upgraded to a full go-to system. It's a lot of fun uh, to have in your arsenal of astronomy equipment. Thank you very much. Clear skies.